Africa Told myself to push and never stop I've been stressed out Watching both these hands around the clock With my eyes wide Trying to get the panorama shot Whole world getting blurry to me Answers getting Hey guys, welcome to another video on smartphone tutorials. Yes, almost a month I didn't upload, but I promise you guys that the uploads are going to be regular right now. I mean, they're going to be almost daily uploads. Maybe on the weekends I might not upload, but weekdays, Monday to Friday, you should have one video at least. So stay tuned for that. And yes, the phone that you see in my hand and the title that you saw today is about the OnePlus 5. And I will tell you why I chose to make this video because this boy has been surprising me since the last two weeks that I have been using it. Now, before we do that, that the second channel that I've been talking about all this while Kratos 390 that is my motor vlogging channel is getting a lot of action these days so if you want to see the other side of me if you want to see me speaking Hindi and stuff well here's a card to that particular channel go ahead and subscribe and share your support there as well if you haven't already please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload a brand new video at the same time here's a card to my second channel that is Kratos 390 go ahead and check that channel out as well now without further ado and after a long time hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials my name is Kalash let's see how powerful the OnePlus 5 is with that funny stuff I use it all as motivation but it's hard to have the patience watching time fly by what is today's video all about and why is the need for such a video well, this is a phone I never purchased when it was launched. I directly jumped onto the OnePlus 5T after the 3T, as you know. And recently what happened is I got my hands on a Galaxy S8, which had uh, a cracked display for a very, very low price. That is 7,500 rupees. And then I exchanged this OnePlus 5 for that particular phone. Now, this phone was also having a broken glass, not a display. So it costed me around 1,200 bucks. So looking at the specifications, looking at the display, looking at the 16 is to nine aspect ratio. We are in 2018 and well, most of the phones these days, even the entry level devices have a 18 is to nine aspect ratio and the fingerprint scanner, well, it has gone under the display and a lot of other things. So first things first, well, as I said, I got this baby just for 7,500 rupees, which is like a steal and at that point of time, it did have a crack on the glass, like a really, really huge one. But when I discovered, well, it was not the display, but the glass that was cracked. So then I got it fixed for around 1200 bucks. So just the glass was replaced and not through the official service center. So that costed me around 8,700. And then the cover, that is the back case and the screen protector got me around another 200 bucks. So in total, we spent around 8,700 rupees or 8,900 on this, which I think is a steal because I'll tell you why. Well, this phone is rocking a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. Even by today's means, that is a very, very powerful chip. At the same time, it has six gigabytes of RAM, a 64 gigabytes of internal storage. Now, 64 is not a lot, but for me as a daily driver, well, it works and it does the job pretty well. On the front, if you have a look at the device, you have a 5.5 inch 1080p display that is an OLED panel that is AMOLED and then you have a fingerprint scanner at the front as well. Now, even for a second hand phone or a used phone, if you check, it works lightning fast. So the fingerprint scanner works and with a software update, OnePlus have done the magic of their face unlock. So face unlock is available in this particular phone and it works equally fast, just like the OnePlus 6 and the 6T. So that is another novelty and brilliant feature out there. At the back of the phone, it is, you know, very, very reminiscent or it looks very much like the iPhone 7 plus and when this device was launched a lot of people were saying that it has been copied and other things like that but I don't think that way it is a beautiful design metal at the back dual camera 16 megapixel plus 20 megapixel one of them is a telephoto lens which is not something you see a lot these days you have a LED flash and a microphone as well now, if you look at the bottom of the phone, well, you have a USB Type-C port, a 3.5 mm jack, again, something that is not very, very common these days, and you have a speaker grill. To the left, of course, you have the alert slider and the volume key, and to the right, you have the power key. The top is empty, and at the bottom, of course, you also have the primary microphone. Right now, what we are looking at is Oxygen OS, of course, because this is a OnePlus device, but to give you a surprise which might not be that surprising if you all are regular well guess what it is running the official android pie update and trust me it is smooth it is 
fluid there are no problems as such with this particular update i've been using it for like three to four days since the time it was launched even if you look at the camera for that matter let me show you a few pictures that i've clicked that's my bike which you can see on the second channel that is kratos 390 even if you zoom in you would see that the detail is there although the clarity on this particular phone when it comes to the camera is not something which you would usually compare with the Galaxy S8, maybe not really. But then again, this phone when it was launched, yes, it is a part of the flagship killer policy that OnePlus follows and for that money, well, this device was pretty, pretty good and it still does the job pretty well. I have tried video, I have tried photos on it and as far as the camera is concerned, well, I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with it. Apart from that, if you talk about performance well if we go to antutu benchmark the phone still manages to score more than 210000 on antutu that is 211204 or 211204 which even i believe the snapdragon 660 or the snapdragon 710 fails to do now what i mean to say over here is if you're able to get this phone pre-owned or refurbished maybe for less than 15000 apart from the 18 is to 9 display that is missing well, this phone is a steal and that is the reason I've been loving it. And if you have a look, it launches apps so quickly, just like it used to with the previous update. And it is fluid, butter smooth, no hiccups whatsoever. Dash charging is there to give you ultra fast charging speeds. And because Oxygen OS is so light and works so well, well, it gives you brilliant battery life. On a normal day, I don't use a lot of phone when I'm at work or something, but on a busy day when I'm motor vlogging and doing other things, well, this boy ends up giving me four to four and a half hours of screen on time over a period of 24 hours. So it easily, for me at least, lasts 24 hours. We've spoken about the camera, we've spoken about the processor, the performance, the storage and a lot of other things. But one highlight here is also the display because that is the main part of a phone that you always look at. I would say all day long you would just look at the phone, that is the display, so you would never look at the back of the phone or the fingerprint scanner and stuff like that. What I'm trying to say here, well, it pops some really really nice colors if you want a subtle look oneplus has you covered over there with their custom option to calibrate the display if you go to display here and if you go to screen calibration you have srgb you have default and you have adaptive mode as well i usually use dcip3 because that is the one that suits my needs but you have an option to choose other things as well now the next video that we will have will be a full review of android pi for this particular device but that's for later the reason i brought that up is because oneplus as always have baked android pi into the oxygen os in such a smooth and subtle way that it just works all in all what i'm trying to say here is if you are not a sucker for 18 is to 9 display or bleeding edge technology or if you don't have a lot of money to throw around this guy will surprise you in almost every department and uh, be a little careful when you buy it used or refurbished just make sure you test the phone perfectly before you take it in your hands and stuff if you talk about gaming on this wonderful smartphone well guess what they have the new gaming mode 3.0 included in this particular update as well so all in all, it has almost all the features of the latest OnePlus devices and this baby just works. Be it PUBG or any other latest game, it works just fine. The load times are super, super fast. The battery is holding up pretty well, although this phone is more than a year old and still the charging speeds and the battery backup is pretty, pretty good. The photos and the camera is not something that will blow your mind, but then again, it will definitely do something that is more than getting the job done. So all in all, by this video, what I wanted you guys to know is this device is costing you less than 220 or $230 or less than 15,000 rupees. If you look this up on OLX or some other website, a lot of these are available. It can play the latest game pretty well. It charges real fast, has a last year's flagship chip clicks decent pictures and battery life is not bad as well so all in all from me the oneplus 5 in 2018 gets a big thumbs up it is holding up well and guess what the galaxy s9 has just started receiving the pi update so you're rocking the latest os just like one of the latest flagships so let me know in the comments section what do you think about this particular video because I do have a few other last year and last to last year's devices as well. If you would want me to make videos of how well a phone lasts over a time, I would love to do that. But for now, 
I'm going to leave you with this device and I'm going to tell you that tomorrow the Android Pie update review should be there for the OnePlus 5 and 5T and this guy has a lot of ROMs over at XDA so a lot of custom ROM videos are going to come up as well. For now, this is Kailash signing off at Smartphone Tutorials. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye. Watching all this time.